Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Store of Book Review and today I am going to make a new book related video and the name of the book which I am going to review is The Ayakudi Murders. So this book is published by Bluff Publications and is written by Indra Sadrajan translated by Nirbal Raj Gopalan. So this is a very fabulous mystery sto story and I recommend every mystery reader to read this story which will fascinate his or her choice and if you don't like mystery then please do read this also then you will then that will change your perspective towards mystery stories but before beginning the review i request you to please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon like the video comment on the video and share this video with all your family and friends so let's begin the video the ayakuti murders this was released in the month of june and i buy this quite late but this book is a very fabulous read uh, it costed me 495 rupees but i was uh, disappointed because when i ordered this book from amazon it gave me a damaged piece and then i have to then i had to replace the book and then a new and a very nice copy came to me so this ayakudi murders costed me 495 rupees and according to me its its price is greater because it's only of 200 pages and it cost 495 rupees so i found it a little bit expensive but the story is worth buying so what is the basically the story so there's a journalist named rajendran who takes the help of a policeman called, uh, named rudrapathi and they unfold the superstitious beliefs and the superstitions happenings in the village ayakudi so there is a hill basically in ayakudi where they believe that there are ghosts wandering and if is there is this a work of spirits or of humans you will get to know in the book the writer actually has revealed who is doing all this in the first chapter is not the first chapter but in the starting chapters but afterwards the case becomes so complicated and then the two realize that many more people are included in this and that is the main tadka to the story i believe in my way so ayakudi there are many tamil words in it and we have to constantly refer to the black glossary which is given but it's nice <laughs> some language we are learning new so now we come to the story line the pace of the story line so the story line uh, is very good means its pace is also good that it's not too slow not not too fast that what is happening oh now this murder is happening and now the, he has done this no the pace is very good and the writer has maintained the pace so i read a recently a review on amazon and it was written that he was a tamil reader i'm i'm i don't know how to read tamil so he said that the translation is overall good but the origin story was good so but i like the translation and i've not read the tamil version but the translation is best the story uh, the meaning of the words is simple the writing style is simple so somewhere we say that oh no what is happening i don't get the words and we have to constantly refer to a dictionary but this book was a very 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 nice and simple to read the one thing i didn't like about the story was that the writer could have uh, could have could have could have revealed the murderer later also but he revealed first only but that was a little bit annoying to me and also i thought that at the ending the writer's pace was a little bit too fast but it gave a nice twist to the story also some points i didn't like about the story and some points i really liked about the story uh the first one i liked about the story was that its suspense its suspense was maintained till the end um and there was a thrilling experience while i was reading so many characters the thing i didn't like that many characters which should have introduced in the in the starting of the book were introduced in the ending of the book like the village sorcerer i could i imagine that he will be introduced in the fourth to fifth chapter because he was of the main but no it he was not revealed by the writer in the beginning but instead he was revealed in the end 
uh, now what happens after the story line um rudra rudra means rudrapati and rajendra find out the mystery of the village and they also find out that why is all this happening there is an ancient treasure in ayakudi because of which it's all happening and it was a very nice thrill to the story that oh suddenly a treasure comes in and it was a very 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 nice experience of reading it i finished it today only reading and i only required two days because the story was so nice and so uh, and what you can say so so fascinating that i couldn't keep this book down so now i come to the end of my review and i rate this book i give the book four and a half stars out of five and i actually enjoyed reading this book and i went through the flow of the book so if you like the uh, if you like the review and the video please like comment and share and please do not forget to subscribe my channel store of book review meet you in the next video till then bye bye and also tell me your book recommended recommendations for me also i am working on a few books for reviewing them so please your suggestions are very valuable to me bye bye